Let's talk about auto scaling in AWS. This is a very brief discussion about the capabilities AWS offers for different type of auto scaling. And we will see some of them in action into the coming sections. Now, when we talk about term auto scaling, it is a generic term. And then auto scaling is used in various services in AWS and they are referred differently. There are three major sections. I would call one as Amazon EC2 auto scaling. Second is just called AWS auto scaling. And the third one is called AWS application auto scaling. The most common one which we hear is Amazon EC2 auto scaling because it existed from a long time. But then are other options also like AWS auto scaling, which was long in 2016 and then application auto scaling which is launched in 2018 will talk about very high level differences between them let's talk about what these are now first one should be very clear because it focuses on Amazon EC2 so focus is on Amazon EC2 instance auto scaling adding instances removing instances that would be done by this particular service so what is AWS auto scaling let me read this we built scaling plan for application scaling for multiple resources across multiple services. Let me explain that. Now, when you have application, let's say that is a made up of web server, then there is a app server, and then maybe there is a database. So let's say if the request increases on your web tier, you would keep on adding more web servers, right? So that is a common way of doing thing. But that would also mean we may want to increase app server capacity also at the same time. And that may also mean we may have to increase the database capacity also at the same time. So should I keep on configuring separate policy for this and this and this, that would be a little complicated. So this is an umbrella who would allow me to configure multiple policies into one scaling plan and it would also help me in identifying the resources like okay this is a dynamo db table this can be auto scaled this is ec2 this can be auto scaled maybe instead of dynamo db you have amazon aurora and it's aurora read replica can be auto scaled so it would identify the available resources and allow me to create a single scaling plan for multiple services within my AWS environment. So that is called my AWS auto scaling. Third one is called AWS application auto scaling. What if, if I want to go beyond the common practices of AWS, we want to have auto scaling for one of our custom resources, or maybe some little uncommon auto scaling option like Amazon EMR, or I want to go ahead and use my app stream auto scaling. So those are various services. So I would say this one is a very broad term. You could even use your own custom resources to be following a auto scaling plan. That's what is AWS application auto scaling. Okay. Now how it works, obviously Amazon EC2 will be adding instances, removing instances based on the condition you define into your auto scaling group. We will talk about auto scaling group. AWS auto scaling, it automatically discovers scalable resources in your application and configure scaling for all resources in a single place using predefined guidance or configure it individually. You could configure it here that, hey, I want to optimize for cost or I want to optimize for high availability and it would take care of the configuration details of that particular policy. The last one, this one is implemented through scaling plan and you could use any CloudWatch metrics with cloud formation to create your custom resources for auto scaling here. So this is called my AWS application auto scaling. Some of the services which are covered by these services, Amazon EC2 instances will be covered by Amazon EC2 auto scaling. AWS auto scaling would allow you to scale these resources, just not EC2 standard, but spot fleet ECS, which is our container offering DynamoDB Aurora. So this is having broader scope. And if I'm coming to AWS application auto scaling, it allows you to add more resources in auto scaling way, Amazon EMR, Neptune, AppStream, SageMaker, and custom resources. And because of the space limitation, I have not added a lot of them. 
but this one gives you a broader spectrum of services to be included into your auto scaling feature. So I hope this thing is clear and you have a better idea on how these three are different though sound similar and in our next section I would focus more on Amazon EC2 auto scaling. I'll go into more detail of implementation and I'll show you a demo also in that case. So I hope you are enjoying. I hope to see you into next section. Thank you.